That was very good, especially early in the scrimmage. Uh, the downside to it was we gave some possessions back to them after he after he won it, um, which I thought last week he, he did really well at maintaining those possessions. Uh, we got better as the day went on. And, uh, we, he competed, our wings competed, and uh, that's a very good Yale team. We're training a lot of, a lot of their players from last year's team. Was it encouraging after the struggles last year when you guys played all the time? Yes. Yeah. Yale's a tough measuring stick. I believe they said that one day at practice, obviously, they've been able to bring pretty cohesive. Well, what, where are you? Because you're playing in six days. Where do you think you are? Like yeah, I would have thought the game would have gone the other way around. I thought maybe we would have got off to a better start and they would have kind of caught up as the day went on. Uh, but it was just the opposite. They got off to a good start and uh, we were able to fight and uh, work and get back and play better as the day went on. So uh, it didn't go exactly as I thought it would, but uh, the fact that we kept competing and uh, we made a game of it was good. Is that concerning that you know, they were right after the jump you know, ready? And um, Concerning so for, for them? For you. Um, no, I think they're a very talented team. A very similar thing happened last year. Uh, they came in ready to go. I don't know what they do for captain's practices and things like that. So, um, But I thought they, they were well prepared coming in. It's been a nice job. No rapists today? No rapists today. This is uh, should be back next for Friday night's game. And Tucker? Should be there for Friday night's really? game. Yeah, I hope so. He was at a walking the other day because they were very ready. Friday night, you'll see. <laughs> How you like uh, Voight jumping up with the because he's supposed to be for that first blind spot? I think Bradley's efforts are hard this season. Um, very good. You know, he was kind of the fourth guy last year, and uh, you know did a, a nice job last year for what he does. He's shooting the ball well. Uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now. I think he's going to be one of the leaders on offense. Coach, I don't know if this was asked, so I apologize if it was, but mm -hmm. you kind of like where your team is at. I know it's still. Working, it's a work in progress. But do you like what you're seeing from the squad as you get ready here for the start of the CD? There were things I liked today. You know, I, I think competing. Uh, I saw some of the players uh, really step up today. You know, a guy like Lucas Quinn got out there and did a real nice job when he got in. And uh, you, you saw some of the guys competing. And I think to get better as the day went on, uh, you know, was very encouraging. What did you see in the first half there? It seemed like you guys were just like maybe a little bit frantic. I wasn't sure just what was going on. Yeah, it was very much like the week before. We, uh, you know, especially when we had our possessions on offense, uh, I thought we went too early. You know, you, you want to get the ball around, let everybody touch it once. Uh, and I'm not talking using the whole shot clock. Just everybody touch the ball, get comfortable, spread their defense out, and then go into your offense. And I, I thought we were frantic, especially early, kind of going to the goal right away. Didn't shoot well again this week in, in the first half. Uh, same thing last week. We didn't shoot well, especially early. Uh, and we had those possessions off the face-off, so um, we're just going to keep working on it. And uh, hopefully, you know, a game like this today, going against this kind of competition, uh, we'll see on the film where we are and what we need to work on. When you say shoot well, do you mean like shot selection or spots when you're? When yeah, you're selection. Shooting? Okay. Uh, you know, and and you know, in spots. You know, we're in tight on the goalie and we're throwing in a stick, or you got know, you got to move the goal. You got to change the plane of the ball. What do you think defensively after a couple of yellow goals? It looked like uh, Mellon called everybody together and. Well, Pablo with the defenders, the veteran group, you know, they, they know what they're doing, but are they where they should be, you think, right now? Yeah, we, we had to adjust. I think that, uh, uh, you know, we were sliding a lot very early. They were putting their shooters and in, in the guy that had to slide that, that spot on the offense, and we they were, did a very good job of taking away the second slide. Uh, so it took us uh, a little too long to settle down and, and start to stay with the matchups, make, make them beat us one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, you know we adjusted to it. I, I thought that the players adjusted to it a little bit too late. You know, I, think we could, I shouldn't say too late. We could have adjusted to it earlier. What are your thoughts on the LSM rotation? Are you trying to lock in on someone or uh, keep it much more of the committee like it was today? Um, it'll it'll be committee. You know we'll, we'll decide you know what situation it is. Whether it's uh, somebody out there in the wing for the faceoff. Obviously guys like Kennedy are great ground ball guys. Uh, you know, we're going to get Fernandez back, he'll, he'll be in the rotation also. We wanted to, uh, you know, there are times we want to bump Kennedy and Humber down low, uh, you know, which we did in the scrimmage today, but you know, we kind of had to with the rotation and how many players we had. Uh, so when Fernandez comes back, that'll give us some more depth there. But yeah, and sometimes it's a situation. You know, do we need this ground ball or is it, uh, who's out just for second midfield out there? So we'll see. And what do you think Fernandez will be back? Uh, I would hope he'd be back this weekend. Do we have real thing that? I hope so. Drake started today yesterday? He did. How did you feel about his performance? I thought he got better as the day went on. We weren't giving him a lot of help. 
you know, they were getting some shots, five and eight yard shots off the three here when we were leaving them, you know, to, to slide to the Dodger. And uh, uh, so he didn't have a lot of help, but he, he got better as the day went on, and I thought Luke Strang did a nice job. Drake, can I start on Friday? Or? Um, I'll watch the film, I think so. The seven home games in a row, I know it's kind of food. You can get a move to call your game up yeah. and half this game only be on the road, so it's going to get them. But that's quite a chance to get some momentum going. I know none of those teams are easy to beat, but do you feel like those seven games in a, in a row at home really kind of give you an edge to roll into the season? I don't know. You know, uh, you know, Hopkins came in here last year, did pretty well. Albany did pretty well last year. Uh, I think I think teams get pretty fired up to come in and play in the, in the Carrier Dome. Uh, you know, the fact that we'll be playing uh, in good weather inside, uh, with a lot of teams, we could be going other places, and when the weather's really bad, and, and uh, you, know, you have a lot of turnovers and things like mistakes that you make, some of it is, is the weather. Uh, so hopefully we can clean that up being at our home in the carry down. Two more for Coach Finley. Well, based, based on what you've seen from the first two scrimmages, how how ready do you think the team is in for the opener? How are they kind of where you're at and expect to be at this, this early stage in the season? I, I think we're about where we should be. I think we should be a little bit further ahead. I, I didn't like the lack of closure in the first half against Yale. I thought that uh, we could have done a better job of that. Um, you know, probably should have used a couple timeouts earlier just to, you know, re-emphasize that it was a scrimmage and you know, run like the best But uh, we'll see. We're going to work on that. They're going to see it in the film, and uh, we're going to work on it in practice this week. And uh, they'll be ready for the Raiders. Have any of the guys right outside the first five lines? Uh, you know, it was uh, you know with Rafus out, uh, Seabold got a lot of time today, and I think he looked confident, you know, going to the goal and, and dodging. Could have had a little better shot selection. I think Griffin Cook has you know, been what he's been for us uh, uh, this spring. He's, I think he understands the offense. He rides. He gets ground balls. Uh, I think he got you know one or two of our early goals in the scrimmage. So he's uh, he's definitely in a good time. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Thank okay, you. yeah, you're welcome.